11 to 13. I wish that you would bear with me in a little foolishness, but indeed you bear with me, for I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. For I married you to one husband that I might present you as a pure virgin to Messiah. But I am afraid that somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve in his craftiness, so your minds might be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Messiah. For if he who comes preaches another, Yeshua, whom we did not proclaim, or if you receive a different spirit, which you did not receive, or a different good news, which you did not accept, you put up with that well enough. For I consider that I am not at all inferior to the most eminent emissaries, but though I am unskilled in speech, yet I am not unskilled in knowledge. No, in every way we have been revealed to you in all things. Or did I commit a sin in humbling myself that you might be exalted because I preached the good news of God to you free of charge? I robbed other assemblies, taking wages from them that I might serve you. And when I was present with you and when and was in need, I was not a burden on anyone. For the brothers, when they came from Macedonia, supplied the measure of my need, and in everything I kept myself from being burdensome to you, and I will continue to do so. As the truth of Messiah is in me, no one will stop me from this boasting in the region of Achaia. Why? Because I do not love you? God knows. But what I do, that I will do, that I will cut off occasion from those who desire an occasion, that in which they boast, that they may be found even as we. For such men are false emissaries, deceitful workers, masquerading as emissaries of Messiah. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. I say again, let no one think me foolish, but if so, yet receive me as foolish, that I also may boast a little. That which I speak, I do not speak according to the Lord, but as in foolishness. In this confidence of boasting, seeing that many boast after the flesh, I will also boast. For you bear with the foolish gladly, being wise. For you bear with a man if he brings you into bondage, if he devours you, if he takes you captive, if he exalts himself, or if he strikes you on the face. To my shame, I must say that we have been weak. Yet in whatever way anyone is bold, I speak in foolishness, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they offspring of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of Messiah? I speak as, as one besides himself, I am more so, in, labor, in labors more abundantly, in prisons more abundantly, in stripes above measure, and in deaths of, of often. Five times I received forty stripes minus one from the Jews. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I, su I suffered shipwreck. I have been a night and a day in a, in a deep. I have been in travels often, peril of rivers, peril of robbers, peril from my countrymen, perils from the Gentiles, perils in the city, perils in the wilderness, perils in the sea, perils of false brothers in labor and travail, in, in watching often, in hunger and thirst, in fasting often, and in cold and nakedness. Beside those things that are outside, there are that which is pressed on me daily. Anxiety for all the assemblies, who is weak, and I am not weak, who is caused to stumble, and I do not burn with indignation. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that concern my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Yeshua the Messiah, who is blessed forevermore, knows that I do not lie. In Damascus, the governor of King Artis guarded the Damascus gates, desiring to arrest me, but I was let down in a basket through the window by the wall and escaped his hands. It is indeed not profitable for me to boast, but I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord 
I know a man in Messiah 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or whether out of the body I do not know, God knows. Such a one caught up into the third heaven, and I know such a man, whether in the body or outside the body, I do not know, God knows. He was caught up in a paradise and heard inexpressible words, which a man is not allowed to speak. On behalf of such one I will boast, but on my own behalf I will not boast, except in my weaknesses. For if I would desire to boast, I would not be foolish, for I would speak the truth, but I refrain, so that no one may think more of me than that which he sees in me and hears from me. And by reason of the exceeding greatness of the revelations that I should not be exalted excessively, a thorn in, in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to torment me, that I should not be exalted excessively. Concerning this thing, I begged the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my weakness, that the power of Messiah may rest on me. Therefore, I take pleasure in weaknesses, in injuries, in necessities, in persecutions, and in distresses for Messiah's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I have become foolish in boasting. You compelled me, for I ought to have been commended by you. For in nothing was I inferior to the most eminent emissaries, though I am nothing. Truly the signs of an emissary were worked among you in, a per in all perseverance, in signs and wonders and mighty works. For what is there in which you were made inferior to the rest of the assemblies, unless it is that I myself was not a burden to you? Forgive me this wrong. Behold, this is the third time I'm ready to come to you, and I will not be a burden to you. For I seek not your possessions, but you. For the children ought not to save up for their parents, but the parents for the children. And I will most gladly spend and be spent for your souls. If I love you more abundantly, I, I, am, I loved, am I loved the less? Even so, I myself did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with deception. Did I take advantage of you by any one of those whom I had sent to you? I urged Titus, and I sent the brother with you. Did Titus take any advantage of you? Did we not walk in the same spirit? Did we not talk? Did we not walk in the same steps? Again, do you think that we were ex excusing ourselves to you? In the sight of God, we speak in Messiah. But all things, beloved, are for your edifying. For I am afraid that by any means, when I come, I might find you not the way I want to, and that I might be found by you as you do not desire." that by any means there would be strife, jealousy, wrath, factions, slander, whisperings, proud thoughts, riots, that again that I come, my God, would humble me before you, and I would mourn for many of those who have sinned before now, and not repented of the uncleanliness, sexual immorality, and lustfulness which they committed. This is the third time I am coming to you, at the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present a second time. So now, being absent, I write to those who have sinned before now and to all the rest that if I come again, I will not spare, seeing that you seek a proof of Messiah who speaks in me, who toward you is not weak, but is powerful in you. For he was crucified through the weakness for he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives through the power of God, for we also are weak in him, but we will live with him through the power of God toward you. Examine yourselves whether you are in the faith, test yourselves, or do you not know this about yourselves that Yeshua the Messiah is in you, unless indeed you are disqualified, but I hope that you will know that we are not disqualified. Now I pray to God that you do no evil. Not that we may appear approved, but that you may do that which is honorable, though you are as reprobate. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we rejoice when we are weak and you are strong. And we also pray for this, that you may be made complete. For this cause I write these things while absent, 
that I do not deal sharply when present, according to the authority which the Lord gave me for building up and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers, rejoice, aim for restoration, comfort one another, be of the same mind, live in shalom, and the God of love and shalom will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Ruach HaKodesh be with you all. Amen.